the CEO of Electricity Transmission System Operator, Ukonerigo. The company is the sole operator of Ukraine's high voltage transmission system and has demonstrated tremendous perseverance and resilience in the face of unthinkable challenges. Volodymyr, thank you for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Um, it is a great honor and privilege to speak to you today. I believe it's fearless and dedicated work of my colleagues who managed to keep the lights on during this horrible and unjustified invasion in Ukraine. Since the invasion started, we originally had two main problems. First, just four hours before the invasion started, we disconnected from the grids of Russia and Belarus to perform three days isolated mode test, which we needed to do before interconnection with European electricity grid, before synchronization to EU grid. And it was expected to be three day test in a normal situation with further reconnection to Russia and Belarus back. But it turned out to be the toughest challenge that this company has ever experienced in its own history. We spent three weeks during shelling, constant damaging of our infrastructure. Uh, we lost about 30% of the consumption almost immediately and quite extensive generation fleet. In the beginning of March, in isolated mode during the night, we had to disconnect at once two nuclear units from the grid in the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant that was invaded by Russian occupants. But in the end of this period of three weeks isolation mode during the war, we managed to synchronize our grid with Europe, which originally was expected only in 2023. And what had to take one and a half years, it took only three weeks because of the dedicated work of Europeans and Ukrainians that worked together, very prominent engineers, 24 seven to deliver this synchronization on 16th of March this year. And this synchronization, of course, has increased dramatically our energy security and allowed us to feel more comfortable in this very, very complicated situation. And of course, this interconnection was only possible due to good preparation before the invasion. And also, during these three weeks of isolated period, Ukrainian power system has demonstrated grid stability. We were able to balance ourselves despite all these damages, despite all this horrible situation. On the day two, we've managed to relocate the whole our dispatching function to a safe place. So we synchronized to Europe, literally from the shelter. And now, as we already operate for two months or three months or already, synchronized with Europe, we are starting commercial trades with continental Europe. And this was envisaged only in the end of 2023, but we managed to do it again one and a half years before the deadline. This commercial operations, this electricity trade, electricity flows from Ukraine to Europe, will make Ukraine in the future an energy hub. Because essentially we can be the only big netto exporter of electricity in the region and we now possess a surplus of energy and we can share the surplus with Europe. So from the emergency synchronization on 16th of March, we're switching to the another kind of operation where Ukraine can play a big role in enhancing Europe energy security and to, to some extent replace 
Russian dominance in supply of energy resources to Europe. Clean and decarbonized electricity from Ukraine can really change the situation on European energy markets, at least in Central and Eastern Europe. And we believe that this in synchronization, this interconnection that happened in the middle of March opened a path towards new order, new energy order in Europe, where there will be no place for blackmailing from Russia and open path to green and competitive power system which will operate in an efficient way. Now Ukraine has a lot of experience to share with our neighbors how to maintain stability of the grid even in extreme situations. And we are proud to be a part of this European family. In the electricity sector we are already a member of the EU. But we also value very much the cooperation that we have had with United States organizations and the United States government. Because without US support, it would be literally impossible to deliver this very important geopolitical synchronization project in such short deadline. I am really thankful to all of you. We feel here in Ukraine, in Kiev, we feel your support. And I'm looking forward to our continued cooperation. Again, thank you very much. It was a great honor to speak to you today. Thank you so much.